Imprisoned for a crime she didn't commit, a space miner is sent to a notorious prison ship to serve her seven-year sentence. To free themselves from under the rule of the tyrannical warden and her henchmen, the inmates must set aside their differences and band together to devise an escape plan. Aboard a mysterious spaceship, Muffin, a menacing prison guard, torments a woman by placing leeches on her back. As the woman begs for mercy, Muffin removes a leech and eats it. On planet Arose, two natives curiously follow a priest named Zal down a road. When the bearded man notices the creatures tailing him, he introduces himself and assures them that he means no harm. Suddenly, the beautiful Tara appears and defensively assumes he's an intruder. Later, Zal, three natives, and Tara share a meal on their campsite. Tara explains that she's a freelance miner who's befriended the locals. She informs the priest of the planet's dire situation at the hands of the Sovereign. And Zal mentions the growing rebellion against the oppressive regime. Suddenly, they hear the sound of a vehicle coming toward them. The group immediately packs up their camp to hide, leaving Zal all alone. Nearby, the silver car comes to a halt, and Captain Bantor, Garth, and three henchmen deboard the vehicle. They traverse the road and come upon Zal, sitting on a rock. Bantor spots the Pantheon crystals the priest possesses and tries to seize them under the pretense of the Sovereign. However, Zal doesn't believe the man's lies, leading to his demise on Bantor's orders. The captain commands his advisor, Garth, to take the crystals to their car. One native returns to the campsite, but a henchman shoots him with a laser gun. Tara witnesses her friend's death and runs off as the henchmen chase after her. Using her knowledge of the terrain to her advantage, Tara subdues Banter's henchmen and returns to the campsite to confront the captain. A fight ensues, but the man's strength overpowers Tara as he pushes her to the ground beside the cooking pent. The captain pins her down and is about to take advantage of her when she dips Banter's hand in the volcanic acid mound, melting his skin off. The man screams in pain as he holds up his injured hand. Soon, Tara is captured and transported onto the prison ship Vehemence for slaying Zal and two of Banter's henchmen. She's sentenced to seven years in the space penitentiary under the rule of its female warden. Via intercom, the warden warns the groggy Tara that 50 women have tried to escape the prison, and all 50 attempts were unsuccessful. Later, Tara wakes up in a cell handcuffed to the wall as the other inmates try to intimidate her. The prisoner's leader, Mike, introduces KK, Marnie, Ruby, Scratch, Adrian, Stace, and cowardly Squeaker to the disoriented miner. Mike asserts herself as the cell block's boss before punching Tara's face. Tara retaliates by cursing at them, infuriating Mike, who's ready to throw another punch. However, Adrian alerts them of Muffin's arrival. The eyepatch-wearing second-in-command enters the cell to see Tara with a bloody mouth. She orders two prisoners to remove Tara's handcuffs, as she warns the newest inmate to follow her commands at all times. Muffin orders her to change into the prison uniform in front of everybody, and the other inmates wolf whistle and tease Tara. After changing her clothes, Tara follows Muffin to the warden's office. Outside the office, Muffin warns Tara not to get in her way by buttering up the warden to usurp her position on vehemence. To frighten the miner, Muffin shows her the mangled eye underneath the eye patch. In the office, Exene welcomes the new prisoner and sees how beautiful Tara is. The miner asks Exene if she can speak, which the warden allows. Tara courageously expresses her disinterest in Muffin's position, prompting the one-eyed woman to walk away angry and embarrassed. The warden touches Tara suggestively and proposes that she can make her prison time a pleasurable experience if she bends to the warden's will. Tara declines the offer, so Exene sends her back to join the other inmates. Meanwhile, the prisoners line up in the mess hall for their unappetizing meal. Mike asks Marnie if the guards have noticed the plate she's been secretly sharpening for weeks, but Marnie thinks they're oblivious. As they settle down at their tables, Squeaker wonders if the miner is a rebel, but Mike doubts Squeaker's hunch because she's convinced that Tara is Exene's spy. Then, Tara enters the mess hall and everybody quiets down. She gets her food and takes a seat, quickly losing her appetite upon seeing the slop. Mike interrupts her meal and dumps a cup of worms on her plate, forcing Tara to eat it. Enraged, the miner retaliates by splashing a cup of water on Mike's face and a fight ensues. Tara dominates, proving herself stronger and more skilled. The warden and Muffin arrive to stop the scuffle, and Exene asks who started it. When no one answers her question, she orders Muffin to bring the two women to the arena. Mike and Tara are placed in a pillory-like contraption, while Muffin maliciously laughs and hits their backsides with a baton, eliciting pained yelps and grunts from the women. Unsatisfied, the warden orders the rest of the prisoners to sit in the viewing area to watch as they unleash a monstrous creature with razor-sharp teeth. The two rivals decide to work together, distracting the alien creature. Then, Tara pulls out an electric wire from the wall and shoves it in the creature's mouth to vanquish it, just as it was about to bite Mike, saving her rival's life. Dr. Poe enters and informs the dismayed warden that she has a call from the Sovereign, prompting her to leave the arena. 
The one-eyed woman orders everyone else to return to their cell and takes Mike and Tara into the solitary confinement. Meanwhile, the warden speaks with the sovereign and his high consultant through a video call. He commands her to provide a place for his staff, led by Banter, to stay on her ship. The high consultant worries about the captain's increasing mental instability following his hand injury. She wonders if Banter's problematic attitude might elicit sympathy for the rebels. Maxine vows to welcome the staff as ordered, asserting her loyalty to the ruler. Then, the Sovereign asks about Dr. Poe's experimental machine. Maxine vaguely replies that there hasn't been any results, so the Sovereign commands her to push the doctor to hurry, since they need the machine for the insurgent problem. At the solitary cells, Mike discovers a harmonica from one of the corpses and plays it. Meanwhile, Tara is having a nightmarish experience when a rat-like creature suddenly attacks her. According to Mike, the mutated rat is called a Jagger Rat, and to slay it, Tara must squeeze its frail neck until its head explodes. Eventually, the miner captures the creature and twists its neck. The next day, everyone celebrates the Sovereign's birthday and enjoys the free food. Mike and Tara join the party after the release, where they exhibit a growing camaraderie after their shared experience. Suddenly, Bantor, Garth, and Krago enter. Surprised by his arrival, Tara spits out her drink and sees the bionic limb that's replaced his hand. Banter gleefully tells her that he'll make sure the prisoners' lives are miserable, so Tara mockingly reminds him of his unfortunate injury. Furious, the captain grabs her by the neck, almost suffocating her. Mike berates the unhinged man, prompting him and his men to leave. Later, the warden and Banter observe Dr. Poe's experiment as she demonstrates her brain-modifying device, which can hypnotize a person to follow the Sovereign's orders. Soon after, Exene leaves to report the results to the Sovereign. Meanwhile, Banter orders Krago to abduct Mike later that night, and tells Dr. Poe that he'll need her to do another demonstration later. That night, Banter's men sneak into the cell to capture Mike. They carry her into the laboratory, where Dr. Poe awaits. The doctor convinces Krago to leave by saying he's already seen a demonstration earlier. In the corridor, the warden invites Krago into her chambers, where they make love. Elsewhere on the ship, Banter asks Garth to whip his back while he mutters about purging himself of all sins and how women are demons. Suddenly, in Banter's deranged mind, he imagines Zal punishing him and he screams in fear. The next day, at breakfast, word of Mike's disappearance has spread. Moments later, the warden and a dazed Mike enter the mess hall. The warden angrily asks Garth and Krago if Banter is responsible for Mike's condition. Enraged, she commands Krago to find his boss. Then, Muffin and two guards appear. She strolls into the room, pulls out a bag full of prohibited substances, and accuses Squeaker of hiding it under her pillow. The woman explains that it isn't hers, but Muffin orders the guards to place her in solitary confinement. Tara tries to fight back, convinced Squeaker was framed, but Muffin punches the miner, knocking her down. Suddenly, Mike stops her dazed acting and challenges the eyepatch-wearing woman to a duel. Meanwhile, Krago searches the ship for Bantor. Unsuccessful, he heads to the Warden's office, where he discovers the Warden's plan to report Banter's insubordination to the Sovereign. In the mess hall, the two women's wrists are attached to a short chain while both wielding daggers. The other inmates cheer on Mike as the dueling women swing their blades, attempting to injure the other. During the battle, Garth senses Muffin's impending loss, so he runs away in fear. Marnie notices him escaping and follows the man while carrying the sharpened plate. Eventually, Marnie catches up to him and handily throws the plate into his skull. In the mess hall, Mike cuts off Muffin's hand when she catches the enemy off guard. The one-eyed woman screams in pain as Mike stabs her in the stomach, ending her life. The female inmates celebrate joyfully as Mike swings around the chain with Muffin's dismembered hand. Moments later, Mike reveals that Dr. Poe didn't use the brain modifier on her. In fact, the doctor is part of the rebellion and has been spying against the Sovereign for a while. The gang devises a plan to escape the prison ship by taking two space pods, rescuing Squeaker and placing a Jagger Rat in one of the vessels. As they split up, Tara heads out to fetch the doctor. Unfortunately, Banter has already captured Dr. Poe. Meanwhile, the warden returns and sees the lifeless Muffin bleeding and missing a hand in the middle of the mess hall. Enraged, she realizes the possible repercussions of a prison break under her charge, so she calls the guards to capture all the escaping prisoners. Concurrently, the newly appointed Inquisitor has his hands on the doctor after Banter hands her over to him. The Tormentor starts the contraption, but just as he's about to start the procedure, Tara appears before him with a gun. She turns the machine off and slowly walks toward the Inquisitor to finish the job. However, the Warden lashes the whip around Tara's arm, disarming her, before choking her out. Exene orders the Inquisitor to capture the other prisoners. As the Warden's about to shoot the unconscious Tara, Dr. Poe sneaks up from behind and knocks her out with a metal bar. Then, the doctor wakes Tara and they escape. Minutes later, while Tara watches for enemies, a guard sneaks up behind them and snaps the doctor's neck. In retaliation, Tara fires a gun, taking the guard down. In the corridor, the miner runs into Krago and Bantor. 
Tara shoots Krago in the forehead, but misses Bantor, who escapes. Tara reunites with half of the prisoners on the west side of the prison ship, where an escape pod is. They seize the vehicle and escape to outer space, waiting for the others to join them. Meanwhile, Mike and Ruby rescue Squeaker from solitary confinement. However, Ruby takes a hit, forcing Mike to drag a weakened Squeaker to safety. Finally, Mike joins the others, and they proceed with their plan. They reach the other pod and defeat the guards protecting it. Mike and the other inmates then hijack the pod. Seeing all the prisoners fleeing, the warden enters the control room, while the guards and Inquisitor chase them down in armed space pods. As the pursuit begins, four pods tail the escaping inmates. Terra skillfully shoots down three enemy ships and the control tower where Exene is. Meanwhile, Bantor enters his pod to chase after Terra, but a creature has chewed the wires in the control panel. Suddenly, a jagger rat jumps on him and scratches his face. Bantor grabs the creature and squeezes until it dies. Seconds later, Bantor hears a voice behind him and as he turns around, the captain sees Zal. The priest taunts the captain, causing him to fully devolve into madness. Terra has Banter's ship in her sights and shoots it down. After vanquishing their last enemy, the women celebrate their victory and hard-fought freedom. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.